Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with uh, the second episode of our Scrappy Art Journal Play. And um, I'll show you what we did in the first video in a moment. It is currently buried. But what I am doing today is completely outside of my normal process. So I do love collage. I love layering things. I love to see the layers. I love to see things peeking out that are unexpected. I also like surprise things that are sticking out. But I always do that in a really wet mixed media style. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to be using a glue stick, which I do not like glue sticks. But when I have to use one, I use the Uhu glue stick. So we're going to be using that to attach our papers down. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of dry work. In fact, it's all going to be dry. None of it's going to be wet. This very first um, actual the, the first one we did was mixed media. This is the first actual kind of more uh, along the lines of paper play that um, that I've done in a journal for with you guys. So I've got some punches just in case I want to create some some different elements and interests. I've got a butterfly punch. Uh, I got my corner rounder, a uh, circle punch, a one and a half inch, my um, ink, um, which I'm I'm hoping to not use, but you might have to tie my hands behind my back. I'm going to really, really try not to use it. So um, you can slap me if I do. <laughs> Just slap me through the camera and say, don't, you said you weren't going to do that. Um, and then I've got my eyelet setter in case I want to put an eyelet. I've got a little idea for a small tag that I want to put in a, a vellum envelope. So so let me move. This is the stuff we're going to be working with. Um, I created a basket. I need to refine it so that it's not like fishing through a whole thing. Now it's a pretty deep basket um, and it only has a little bit in it. I hope you could see that by that angle. It doesn't have a lot in it. Just old papers. I did purchase some rub-ons from an Etsy seller. I'll link those because they're super easy to use when you're doing collaging. So, um, so these are the pieces that we're going to mainly tap into today. So some scraps. It's all scraps. <laughs> so we're going to be working on this spread here. So in, and I'll show you a flip through here in just a second of this, this scrappy journal that we made on camera. And it went a little sideways because my spine was way too big. And so um, I, and we've got a lot of space in between. So I'm going to try to figure out what I need to do with that. Um, but it's just really scrappy. As you can see, I used everything under the sun to make this. And so when we got out to this point, um, this is the third, the second, third signature. And um, it was like, so this cover was so big <laughs> that I had to do something. So I added these little long flippies to go off of the end here. So we've just got some weird kind of extensions, um, which I think are going to be just fine. So that's what we've got. So this is the first page that we did was very mixed media because I was in a space where I needed to create mixed media. It's good for my soul when I'm struggling, when I'm hurting, when I'm confused, when I'm whatever, I or I'm lost, I get lost in mixed media. So let me just hold this up so you can see a close up. This was so much fun, you guys. This was a blast. Look at the close up of that. But I want to take it down to more simple techniques. And so that's what we're going to do today. So we are going to be working with this page here. So we're going to be working on both. Um, we're going to be working on this, which is a, an elephant, an elephant, oh my goodness, it's an envelope that I embossed, and it got like stuck shut, because I don't know why it was stuck shut, but it was, but I thought it would be fun to work on this page, and then this end of this tag shaped piece of paper. This paper is actually a copy of one of my um, music paper, vintage uh, papers that I did some mixed media work on. So we've got that. I am going to grab, well, I don't need to because I'm not going to get, nothing's going to get wet here. <laughs> I have to try to remember that. Usually when I'm working in a journal, I put a piece of parchment here so that I don't get anything nasty, but there's not going to be any nastiness happening here. There, um, I actually just filmed the uh, flip through and giveaway specification journal um, that's going to go up on the channel on Friday. It's a short nine minute video just showing you the book 
the qualifications for being eligible to win the journal and um, on, on all of that. So uh, I, I, I thought, I don't know if I can do a project. Like, I don't know if I can get another video out. But I thought, wow, you know what? I sat here and I started fishing through that basket and just like dreaming and just thinking about simplicity and thinking about how can I just have some fun with paper without making a big to-do about it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a not a big to-do. So let's get going. So we're going to just start mainly with collaging. So I'm trying to figure out the best way I can keep this in view for you. I'm just going to kind of slide this off here so that I can bring my papers over. That'll work. Okay, so I know that these are my elements that are going to go kind of towards the top layer. Um, and so I like to do um, book pages, music pages, and such in the background. So let's start with some just regular book page. So I'm just going to start tearing. Nice to get different variations of paper in here just for interest so that's what we're doing here and I think I'm gonna leave on that actually I think I'm gonna bridge those two pages by using this it might crack I'm not sure <laughs> that's okay we will deal with it so the idea is you start with your similar to my mixed media process you start with your paper your collaging uh, on the base and then you come in with very other la layers to um, to further build up that that area so that's already cracking so I'm just gonna run my finger on it and just let it crack I meant to grab my washi tape just give me a quick second guys so I'm very excited about doing this kind of oh art journaling because I don't use washi tape. I've used it before, but I do not use it very much. And I thought, wow, this would be really fun to tap into some of this. So I'm just gonna fish in here and see if I find something that kind of sparks my imagination here in terms of um, our theme here is gonna be kind of pinkish. So um, this would be really pretty. And let's see if we've got anything else that's not too, too bold. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty, pretty. And there's another one. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Boy, now I gotta make decisions. <laughs> and the reason why I'm, I'm bringing that out is because we are gonna use that in various places here as we go along. So let's, um, I do wanna get a little bit more of this covered. So I think I'm gonna bring in um, maybe a piece of this. This is just scraps, guys. Nothing, nothing special. And I don't want it really to go above that, so I'm gonna follow that that line of thinking. This glue stick is really nice, actually, as far as glue sticks go. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring that down and let it let it go over that little broken part. And I do feel like we can put some washi there. So let's kind of um, think about what we want to have. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I think this needs to go over here though when we get there because our main focal image is gonna go on this page. So I think I'm gonna just kind of set that there for now. And I've got some tissue paper as well. I've got the pink and gold dots and then I've got the um, clear with the gold dots. Both very, very pretty. Um, let's go ahead and continue with the first layer here over on this side too. I'm not gonna cover all of this up, but I am going to cover uh, some of it. So in all honesty, like I know how to collage. I've been collaging for years, um, but not in a really loose 
um, kind of carefree style. So I've been watching Meg over at Meg's Journals. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. She's the one that, um, that uh, I don't know, She I think she she's the originator of the uh, Junk Journal January and Junk Journal July um, 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 challenge. And so I've been watching her videos. I love her voice. I love her style. I love how she's just, just in love with paper and makes beautiful things by doing this. So I love that right there. So let's see what else we can get in here. I want to make sure we don't lose all this beautifulness that's underneath here. So I thought maybe we could add a layer of this. So I think I want to kind of tear around that word. I might not be ready for this piece yet, but I want to, I want to dream about it. So pretty, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So, do we want to have it over here? I'm not sure yet. We're going to set that one aside with that as well. We need to cover a little bit more of this. This is another piece of, um, it's just on 20 pound paper, but it's some of my mixed media paper as well. Let's just tear a piece of this off and see what we want to do with it. See if we want to get some of that in there. I don't really want to bring in too much yellow. Actually, let's not put that there at all. Yeah, that looks weird. And that's the thing, guys, when you're doing this, um, if it if it looks weird to you, just just change it up. Get find something else. You don't have to you don't have to stay with that. So um, let's bring a little bit of this over here as well. Hmm, overthinking it already. I am, I am. So, let's just start gluing, Kara Renee. Just start gluing. You won't hate it, I promise. I know that much. Actually, I think I want this one to go, yeah, it needs to go this way. I also love her style because she glues things upside down. She'll like glue text or music paper upside down and I love the idea of that and she said that's because then you're not focusing on trying to read the words. You're just you know, you're just looking at the whole the whole of the spread. So that's really lovely. Um, I think maybe we want to put some of this on here too. Um I don't like all straight edges, but I don't want them all to be a rough tear either, so. So I feel like when you just are, just you let go of your expectations of the spread, um, you're gonna be more happy with the results by just not overthinking just put stuff down and Don't worry about it. Okay, so Feel like that might be good. I'm just debating on this area up here. I just feel like it needs something else Yes, and I like that piece. That's perfect. I like the irregular edges and how they stick up and stuff like that. Perfect. Okay, so I do want something else over here, but I feel like it needs to be some of this this darker, um, darker bit so that it's just sticking out from underneath what we're gonna do on that side. So it's gonna we're gonna have to cover some things here or um, trim it off rather. I'm sorry trim it off. Okay, so let me just turn this and trim those extra bits. Now Meg works with um, with prompts primarily. She does do a lot of other work, but she, you know, she likes to work with prompts because it challenges you to kind of think outside the box 
and um, oh that's so cool look at that look at that I love it okay so to, to link these two pages though I feel like I want to put a little piece of that lace paper over on this other side so let me do that really quick oh, I'm tearing the wrong way tear away from you if you don't want to see the white core So I feel like that would actually be kind of cool with it being kind of interrupted. That other word interrupted. I'm going to trim that white core off. I don't want it like that in this case. And because I'm not inking and you didn't have to slap my hand. <laughs> um, or maybe like that instead. I feel like that. Yeah, I feel like that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get some other, get the next layer in here. So I love to bring in some vellum. I have some vellum that's just plain, and I have vellum that is um, has some print on it, I believe, somewhere here. Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't see it. I must not have pulled any out. I must have dreamt about it. Um, I also have a piece of a doily that I thought would be fun to add in as well but I'm not sure. Oh, we could do that as a little, as a little tip in. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. How about a little bit of pink tissue paper? And I do like to bring things in over, I, I like to um, represent it on both sides. It just um, balances everything out. So let's do that. Let's put that right there. Why not? This, um, this is tissue paper, so it can be a little bit tricky to get all the edges. Do I want it there or do I want it at the top? That one's at the top, so let's not do that. So what I love about this though is so you see, can see the layers underneath still. I'm just trying to get my finger under there so I can get a little bit more of that glue. Okay, there we go. So sweet, okay. So on this side, before we go any much further, I want to show you what I'm thinking for this side. So I want the vellum pocket because we'll be able to see things underneath it. Um, and I'm debating on gluing this shut and then trimming off the top, which I'm inclined to do. So let me just use my glue stick again. I don't usually use glue sticks for this reason. So I'm going to move it up here, though, so I can do that. And, um, oh, wait a minute, that's not going to work. Because that's going to glue the pocket shut. I'm going to set that one aside and grab one more because I want to do that differently. I will use that for something else. So the thinking is, I want it to look like an envelope up front here. So... Maybe maybe we do that. Yes, I think we do that. We glue this down. Again, not going to overthink it, guys. Just doing, doing whatever feels right at the moment. This is a time and a place where that's completely safe. <laughs> you don't always want to do what feels right at the moment. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. I've heard. So I'm going to just put this right here and I love how we can see the layers underneath. I'm just going to push that up and oh that's so cool. So cool. Now let's get a little bit more glue in here. Make that a little bit stick a little bit better. 
Now, what I'd like to do before I go further is I'm going to pull out the, some rub-ons. Now, I want to pull out something in pinks because um, it doesn't actually have to be that. So the, our tag is going to go in here, but I have some pink variety of these rub-ons, I think. I thought I did. Where's the pinks? There they are. Let's see. If there's anything I was feeling like this oh this would be pretty this little rose let's do that I haven't used these yet again I will link them um, rub-ons can be hard to find these days they used to be all the rage you know in the scrapbooking days but they're not so much anymore set that there and I'm just going to cut out this rose right here and use it so I'm going to put it on this vellum but I think I might put a little bit of a book or music page on it first create a little bit of interest okay there we go let's just pick a, a spot of book page or music page whatever jumps out at me. Actually, I love that piece right there. I love that piece right there. I'm just going to tear that down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, our little rub on. So, in case you don't know how these work, you cut out the piece that you want, pull the backing off, and then I just use my bone folder to get it on there. So, I'm just going to set this rose on top of this book page, like so, and rub it. I got some others from 49 and Marco, but they're 12 by 12, so they're not in my basket yet. I need to kind of cut some pieces off of it to stick in here so that I can use it in bits. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that scrappy goodness. Okay, so let's get on to this piece. So this is going to go in the pocket, in that envelope, like that. I feel like we need something else up here. Um, I may be overthinking this, but let's see what else we've got. You can also use just regular stickers as well. Let me reach for my stickers just a moment. So I have a boatload of stickers, which I don't tend to use because I don't care for the shine in my normal work, but I think that it will work beautifully for this purpose. Um, I, but I think I want maybe some greenery if it's in here. Oh, that one's really lovely, the butterfly. And let's see what else we can find. Oh, there's a pink butterfly. Is that too much pink? No, it's not. Let's do the butterfly. I have the hardest time getting these off though, generally. Mm, so pretty. So on this, I do want to, um, I'm going to leave it like it is, but I am going to put an eyelet in it because I want it to put a little bit of something on the top. I might do that part. In fact, let's just, I'll just do that part off camera. So I'm just going to stick this in here for now. And that's going to be my little tag. And then um, I didn't look for any words or anything. I didn't really think about that. Um, so sentiment, I mean, this this is actually intended to be my focal image when I was planning this, kind of tentatively planning this page. Um, but let's go ahead and work on this one as well, because I'm really loving this. 
I'm really loving this. Go lovely rose. I feel like it really fits that, but I feel like I want this top piece off, that pink. Oh man, I tore it towards myself again. I'm just gonna cut off that white core a little bit. Let's try to keep that rough edge though, is what I'm going after. Whoops. Another thing that I want to do is gather some of my stamps. So I have some stamps that are just kind of, I can grab them. Oh, I love that. This is way purple, isn't it? That's okay. So I was thinking, what about this little birdie? This little birdie would be gorgeous right there. So let me see if I can tear it down a little bit. I don't want it to be too rough of a tear. I also don't want it to be too perfect. So let's just give this a go. I'm not going to tell you where the papers come from, guys, because these are just from my scraps. So, and that would take me so long to do. So, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so there's a beautiful little little um, focal image over there. I do want to add some washi tape. I completely forgot that. So I'm really thinking this one here, this pink. Well, this is awfully pretty too. And this is pretty too. This has got kind of a postal thing on it. Kind of a postal look. Let's see if I can get this off. We're not going to throw that away though. I'm going to do that and I'm going to put this on the edge of my table so I don't get it stuck again and we're going to go ahead and just tear there and we're going to use a little bit of that washi here and there and let's get another piece Oh, that's where we were going to do it. We were going to do it up this center area. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, of glue on the bottom of this, though, just to make sure it's nice and sticky. I'm not feeling this piece at all. Let me just put it right there. Okay. Let me get it off that butterfly though. I realized I didn't put any glue on the other ones, but just that first piece. I'm just going to trim that off, bothering me. Okay. So. I feel like this is wonderful, but we want this focal image on here. I think it really complements the other page. I don't like this sticker though. I'm wondering if I can pull it off. Probably doubtful without, yeah, without pulling up the paper. Nope, can't do it. So this is one of those lessons for me that I need to just be happy with how it is. So um, I don't want to cover up that lovely rose word there. So let's put our little birdie right there. I'm going to grunge them up a little bit because my, my cuts were not very straight or my tears. So I'm going to just give them a little bit of, a little bit of, um, roughness around the edges. So at the time of filming this, we only have two, three and a half days of school left. So super glad. I think I want to ink this one just lightly, just with whatever's on my on my sponge, which isn't much. So, okay. 
Oh, that's so beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Didn't end up using my punches. No need. Okay, there we go. And do we want it to go straight? Yeah, I don't like to put things sideways. It's just my thing. Um, you do you, though. Oh, that's so pretty. How beautiful she is dressed in pink petals. I love that so much. So I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything else I want to add. I feel like I need a sentiment, but I don't want to make a decision about a sentiment too early in the game. Do we want to add that or is it too much? I think it's too much. Um, give me a second. I want to look and see if there's anything that just pops out at me. Just a moment. Okay, I found one that I'm happy with. She believed she could, so she did. So uh, I am going to ink this up a little bit. So I've got some white edges and I'm going to put it on a little piece of something. Okay, what do we want to put it on though? Oh, look at this paper. We could put it on there. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to do a rough tear. I'm going to tear away from myself. Usually I want that white core for um, for inking up, but in this case I do not. So is that going to look weird? I almost feel like it's a little bit weird. Um, overthinking, overthinking, Caroline, Caroline. Um, you don't, I don't really like to put script on script though, so I'm going to go ahead and tear off this bit on the side. That lace, I was trying to capture that. I'll save that for something though. It's going to go in this basket to be used later. But I want those lines to show, so that's perfect. So let me just tear this little edge off as well. I don't want an even edge. You can have an even edge if you want, but I don't. I don't want that. Okay, and yeah, we got it. There we go. Perfect. As in, I'm happy with it. Um, do we want it to kind of go over here? Offset. Yes, let's do that. Okay, we're not going to ink. I really, really, really want to ink. I'm going to cap that so I don't. I'm not tempted. <laughs> See, I am capable of trying new things <laughs> that are outside of my comfort zone. This is outside of my comfort zone, but we can do it together. Okay, so we're going to put that right. I don't want to, oh, I covered up my girl, my girlhood. Um, dog on it. I want that to show. So I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to cover up some of that washi. Boy, that's a bummer, but it is what it is. It's the cost of, of um, doing layering. So I feel like we need something yet underneath that again. So kind of goes with that nest, that bird and its feathers. So let's try that. Let's try a piece of this specialty paper. Yes. Good choice, my dear, my dear. It's a whole new world here for me. Okay, let's just put that right there. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. Just really do not like that butterfly at all. Um, but we're going to be happy with it because it's what I picked and it's okay that it's not exactly what I want it to be. We're just collaging. We're just using our scraps to create beautiful things. So there we go. There she is, my friends. That is it. Look at that page. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. What do you think? Other than the butterfly, but it's okay. It's okay. I keep telling myself it's okay. So then, you know, we'll have to decide what we're gonna do when we get to this side. 
you know, to make that something cool too. But we don't have to think about that today. This is our today project. So that is it, my friends. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.